Hi guys. GR44 is with you. In this tutorial I will show you how to use the seamless transitions for DaVinci Resolve Pack. The basic principle is that you copy a package or individual transition categories via the clipboard and paste it into your project. So let's get started. Unpack the downloaded archive to any location on your disk. The unpacked folder contains two versions of the pack. One for DaVinci Resolve Studio, the second for DaVinci Resolve Free. Launch DaVinci Resolve. Now we will prepare the package for work so that the program remembers the paths to the files. This is done once before using the package for the first time. Create an empty for transitions folder in the project manager and select Restore Archive from the drop down menu. Specify the path to the unpacked files from the archive for your version of DaVinci Resolve. Select the frame rate you will use. It should be noted here that for each frame rate the package is divided into two parts. This then speeds up the process of copying and pasting a package into your projects, requiring less clipboard memory. So, select the file with the DRA extension and click open. A little wait and the first part of the package is added. In the same way, restore the archive with the second part of the pack for your working frame rate. In the future, if necessary, you can restore archives for other frame rates at any time. Now the important step. You must enable the dynamic project switching option in the drop down menu. Make sure it is activated. Now open the first part of the package. Select the root transitions folder and copy it to the clipboard. This can be done through the edit menu, but I recommend using the Ctrl plus C hotkeys. The process takes some time, depending on the speed of your system. At this moment, it may seem that the system is frozen, since DaVinci Resolve is not responding, but this is not the case, the program is simply busy working with the clipboard. You can move the mouse cursor and as soon as the copying process is completed, the information under the cursor will begin to update. Now go to the project manager and open your project, or create a new one. Paste the first part of the package from the clipboard into it using the edit context menu or using the Ctrl plus V hotkeys. Wait for the insertion to complete. On average this takes a couple of minutes and depends on the speed of your system. Next, go to the project manager and open the second part of the package. Using the method described above, also copy it into your project. Since we have already copied the name of the root folder with the first part, select the folders with categories directly. It should be noted that we usually do not use all categories in a package. Therefore, in both the first and second parts, you can select only the categories you need at the moment and copy only them. This will greatly speed up the copy and paste process. To select categories, use the control key. Now another important point. Before you start using transitions, make sure that the decompose compound clips on edit option is activated in the edit menu. Without it, transitions will not be dragged correctly onto the timeline. Everything is ready, you can start working. Go to the transition category you need and enable the display of transition previews that is convenient for you. Select a transition and drag it onto the timeline. For transitions to drag, the frame rate of the transitions and the frame rate of your work sequence must match. I also recommend enabling cache rendering and lowering the display quality so you can view complex transitions in real time. For each transition on the timeline, you can enable rendering in the cache. Select one or more transitions and in the drop down menu, right click with the mouse, activate the render cache color output option. Wait for the blue stripe to appear above the transition. 
Everything is ready, you can view the transition in real time. It was GR44. All the best.